Hi there everybody, my name is Ali and today I will be going to solve SSRF lab number 5 from Web Security Academy and this one will be quite hard because it involves open redirection vulnerability as well and there will be a lot of like filtering going on as well so we will be going to try to bypass the filter and we will utilize open redirect vulnerability to gain access to the internal system so that being said, let's jump in now coming over here we do have this lab 5 SSRF with filter bypass via open redirection vulnerability and coming to the lab let's see the description it says this lab has a stock check feature which fetches data from an internal system to solve this lab change the stock check URL to access the admin interface as this IP and port and then the admin endpoint and then we need to delete the carless user just like the our previous videos and it says the stock check checker has been restricted to only access the local application so you will need to find an open redirect affecting the application first it says that it's restricted to only access the local application so let's see how we can exploit this one so coming to this one over here i can see my web switch is on and i can click on view details onto any item and i do have the burp suit going in the background and then check stock feature and we do have the post request so control r control shift r and control space to send and we do have this endpoint now if i look this endpoint much more clearly or parameter stock api it is having slash product slash stock slash check question mark then there is a parameter and then parameter is product id is equal to 5 and store id is equal to 1 so one thing which i can try over here is again from my previous videos i will remove this endpoint and i will try to do the basic thing so it should be localhost and it says invalid external stock check url invalid url so 127.1 doesn't work 127.0.0.1 doesn't work so i need to figure out another way so if i come back and exec this execute the same url send it says 215 so right over here what other things which i can try is because i am also having some hint from the description as well that we need to find some open redirection vulnerability which i still cannot find over here so if i can see i need to click on every link so home my account and then return to the list and if i move my mouse over to the next product i can see that ne next product is also giving me something so if i click on this one it gives me a next product so if i come over here this is a get request going on and if i analyze this endpoint product next product current product id and this one so one thing which i can try is when i am always trying ssrf attack if i send this one it says 302 found one thing which i will directly do is copy the endpoint come back to the previous request and send that endpoint over here and let's see what is the response so send and it didn't give me any error because this one is a valid endpoint which is existing and at this time it says missing parameter path and that's most probably this ampersand i think so it should be question mark send no so there are two parameters going on what if i remove this all and if i do path is equal to test Oh, it says not found so i think so now path parameter is over here so what if i try to access that endpoint if it will work i don't know let's see send and render oh i do have that admin panel over here so one way was doing ssr this way which was completely unintended way from my side i think so that was the intended way but i did it in some other way just trying different things so one way is i can simply do username um or i need to do delete and then i need to do slash or i think so question mark username is equal to Carlos. So 
this one will delete username Carlos. The other thing which I figured out was that I tried to see analyze this request and it says follow redirection. So this one is redirecting somewhere. So if I click on follow redirection, I can see it says product product ID is six and where it got redirected me is let's see again the same I think so product but if I clearly see this referral header over here I can see that the path parameter has been over here and this product id 6 parameter is shown me in the response so either it is redirecting me over here so what I can try to do is I can try to redirect to let's say google.com send it says redirection send and it says slash google.com so either I need to do HTTP s colon slash slash send follow redirection and there you go you can see it is now redirected me to google.com so open redirection is going over here so what I can try to do is that because there is a filter going on on this stock API parameter that we need to provide the same path so what I did was since there is open redirection so what I can do is I can copy the complete path and I can in the path where it open redirection is going on rather redirecting to google.com what I did was I redirected it to its internal system and it did actually work so if I hit send over here it should say that I have solved the lab so the user has been deleted so it says user deleted successfully if I come back over here I should have solved the lab and there it is so that was all about this video. I hope you will like it and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.